fish a predator, you need a predator. So if you tie flies, we have a video for that. Uh, it's on YouTube. There's the title. You could get it at your local fly shop. If they don't carry it, you can get it from Feathercraft Fly Fishing or The Fly Shop. These are both big, highly reputable mail order fly fishing operations. Got him? Yep. Bye. <laughs> the Predator came out in a book published in 1994 that I wrote called Tying Foam Flies. And back then, it was an imitation of a dragonfly nymph. But a guy named Chris Helm went crazy over the fly, made this video, and he loved it for largemouth bass and panfish. And so it became a big fly for those species. So the predator originally was my pattern, <laughs> but people have been playing with it a lot. This is it. Of course, you can't see much from that distance, but there it is. And uh, <clears throat> I fish it for a lot of different species. I mean, it's, it's become a huge fly for bluegills, for largemouth bass, and I fish it a lot for smallmouth and for trout, quite a lot. And for other panfish species, I've caught, uh, oh, just for example, yellow perch, um, pumpkin seeds, others, I can't remember. But uh, it's a very versatile fly. You can fish it right off the bottom of a lake or reservoir on a full sinking line. You can fish it right up on top, which is what most people do. We're going to go through all that. So here we go. Here's Fishing the Predator. <music> most common way that the predator is fished for largemouth bass and pan fishes, bluegills especially, is to cast the fly in and work it around the cover, or the shoreline cover, weeds, logs, that kind of stuff. Whoa! <laughs> All right. Oops. <laughs> So for largemouth bass and panfish, you cast in the predator, give it an immediate jerk so that it makes a disturbance. Then you wait quite a while. I mean, 10, 12, 15 seconds. Then you give it a little tug, just a little one. Wait another five seconds and then start swimming it back. And that works. Any point, it can work. Another way to work it is to overpower the cast, low cast, and the predator will come down hard. That's your initial disturbance. You don't need to do anything. Just let it sit after that for about, again, 10 to 15 seconds. After the time passes, you give it a little tug, then let it sit for about five more seconds, and then again, start swimming it back. To retrieve a predator deep in a lake, along the weed line, let's say, or out around some kind of structure, you need to use the countdown method. And we've gone all over that in great detail in another video, the one you see pictured here. So go to that if you want all the details on this. And essentially you're trying to get that predator down and work it along the bottom of the lake. And when you twitch a predator deep, boy, I tell you the, the legs really work and the tails flip and the sparkles. and. <laughs> So I've got a predator, a little tan one here, tied on a loop knot, and I've got my full sinking, end-to-end, -end, type 3 fly line, and now I'm going to just troll. If you want to really learn the details of proper, or effective, I should say, trolling, we already made a video on that. So that's the one that's printed across the bottom of the screen. Go to that if you want to really get trolling right. Come on, fella. Oh, oh. This is a rainbow trout. There 
There it is. And here he is. Well, okay, I'll give you just a, an outline of how trolling works. You make a long cast with a type three or four full sinking line, typically, full sinking, and then you row a bit, and then you release, you pull off some more line, then you row a bit, then you pull off a little more, so the line doesn't drop to the, straight to the bottom and get your fly gets hung up. Uh, that's not such a big problem with a predator because it's buoyant, but uh, that's essentially trolling. <laughs> When I fish a floating predator for smallmouth bass in streams, and actually in lakes too, I use a very different retrieve than I use for bluegills and largemouth bass. I cast the fly out. Immediately after it hits the water, I give it a tug, wait three or four seconds, give it another, three or four seconds, another, I mean on the watch. And smallmouths just really respond to that retrieve. Take one. Yeah, uh, hello everyone. Uh, I want to tell you about this fly, the Skip Morris fly here. Uh, that's what it looks like. And you can get it, if you, if you don't tie, you can go online to uh, the feather craft, fly fishing feather craft, or you can go to the fly shop. They are the big mail order operations. But first, see if you can get it in your local fly shop. And if they say no, then you say, ah! I hurt you if you don't get it. But then if they don't anyway, then you go to those places. <sighs> okay. Uh, do not let anybody see that. Sure. This is the pop take one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what happened? 